Well, good morning, YouTube. So I'm out here this morning with the camper and I've been doing some research. Been having this noise, kind of a weird noise. <sighs> Older guys might remember this, where you basically would get pinging, spark knock, pre-detonation, cheap gas. And I'm thinking, now, I said, this doesn't make any sense. There's no way that in this day and age of a 2018 motor, <laughs> it's gonna have spark knock, pinging. So I said, all right, so I started doing some research. Come to find out, everybody has said, not everybody, a bunch of people have said, it's belt noise. When Ford went from a eight rib serpentine to a six, six rib serpentine, the belt between the alternator and power steering flaps, basically, the harmonics of it. So, went on some groups, found uh, people say there's a pulley, idler pulley, and a bolt that you can put on and it'll take care of the problem. So I watched one YouTube video. The guy actually had a little camera or something point at the belt. And that's literally the sound. It, the belt is actually like, you know, flapping and twi twists and kind of flaps. So, and it's the exact sounds you hear sitting in the cab. You probably won't hear it in a pickup truck because the motor's so far forward. You hear it a lot in the E-Series and you'll hear it on the F53 Class A motorhome chassis with the V10. I'm not sure, I think it was 99, they went from an eight rib to a six rib belt. So maybe the narrower belt caused this problem. Well, anyhow, here's where the boss is the, on the block. Right there. That's the boss, driver's side. You can see the belt coming down that way. And in the video, that's what you're seeing. That's literally what I hear. In the cab, it sounds like engine pan. So I gotta get that pulley and bolt on that little boss and get it tightened down. They say you don't have to take the belt off because the length of it, you can just pull the belt, start putting it on and then just tighten it up. It's just an idler pulley. So we'll see. Wish Clear me luck. box out, slap the pulley on. Literally it was that easy. Gotta put the bolt in. Bolt's in. Let me put the air box back together. Air box is back in. I swear to God, this is the hardest part. There's a tab. There's a tab on the bottom side with a little triangle on this clamp. You gotta stick the clamp on there first in that tab and then stick the box on and then you can wiggle it and pull it tight and then it goes in. All right. All right. Let's start it up. Here's the part numbers from Ford. Should cost you about $50. Takes about 10 minutes to put on. And the noise went away. So this is 100% the fix for the problem. Thanks for watching.